All right, guys. Um, very interesting race here in Maine. Lisa Savage running for the Senate in Maine, but she is a Green Party candidate. And we covered uh, why ranked choice voting is so important. Maine has passed it, and that has stood up through the courts. So in November, they will be using ranked choice voting in Maine. Um, Lisa Savage running against a Democrat and a Republican in that race. Um, so it'll be very interesting to see how quickly the ranked choice thing takes takes hold. That again means you can vote for Lisa first, the Green Party candidate, and then you can rank the Democrat second, the Republican third, whatever you want to do, so that you don't feel like your worst possible candidate is being helped by your you know voting outside party. Um, so obviously both major parties have profusely objected to this policy and tried to take it through the courts that has stood up to um, constitutional muster. So um, in effect, in, in November, even the presidential election will be ranked choice in Maine. Um, so it will be very interesting to see. I, I, if I have viewers in Maine, please vote green, guys. G vote green. Y utilize this wonderful tool that has been given to you, okay? Um, so I, I want to give some of Lisa's policy proposals here. She obviously um, very progressive, the Green Party typically to the left of the Democrats. Um, you know, I don't call myself a Green. I'm an independent, but I do support a lot of Green candidates. Um, I'm, my personal opinion, for those curious about the progressive movement or whatever, I'm a kitchen sink kind of person. If you want to run as a Green and independent, if you want to run as a progressive Democrat, I'm like, throw the kitchen sink at it. I'll support anybody who wants to push for progressive policy, okay? I don't necessarily think the Democratic Party is a power structure we can continue to work within on a long-term, regular basis. But for candidates that want to, to run as Democrats and be genuinely progressive, I'll support you. For candidates that want to run as Greens and be genuinely progressive, I'll support you, right? Um, so um, Lisa Savage here, by far the most progressive candidate in this race. She also has pointed out she's the only non-millionaire in this race, both other candidates, millionaires in this race. Um, so her COVID-19 pandemic response, um, what she wants to do to, to fight the pandemic. She wants to institute an emergency UBI. She wants to suspend rent, mortgage payments, evictions, foreclosures, and utility shutoffs. Um, she wants to provide funding for small businesses, no interest loans, um, covering payroll costs, these kinds of things. So that would keep employees paid at 100% of their um, income, right? So it's, it's, you would just be directly covering the business's cost to keep their empo employees paid instead of having to do all of these relying on the government for stimulus things, right? Um, she also um, wants to use the Fed to give um, state and local governments the financial ability to get through the crisis. That's another crucial one, you guys. Biggest employer in this country um, is state and local businesses. So um, imagine how many people the state of California or the city of New York or whatever employ, right? And those folks are suffering right now because um, state and local governments, unlike the federal government, they do have to rely on taxes and loans in order to spend, right? So the automatic stabilizers during a crash like this, you're going to see um, tax revenues drop in those, a lot of those local constituencies. So as those drop, their ability to spend drops. Well, that's at a time where they desperately need to spend because we're going through an economic crash and we have a health crisis. Um, so I, I, that's a huge policy right there, using the Federal Reserve, which is using the federal government's ability um, to create dollars, and you're going to use that to help the local governments, right? That's just positive all the way around. It's also economically positive. Um, so, you know, major, um, major positive policy there. Um, Basically, she just she, she's actually bold on her response to COVID, unlike either of the major parties have been. Um, she pushes for a Green New Deal and highlights that. Um, and, and the Green Party's Green New Deal, by the way, is a little bit more progressive than the Democrats one is. So, um, you know, it's it, uh, fantastic policy. She wants to get to 100 percent clean renewable energy by 2030. So significantly more progressive. Um, Jobs as a right. So this is part of the Green New Deal. The federal job guarantee is part of that, and it is a massively important part of that, as I have covered time and time again. I will not chew your guys' ears off about that again. Medicare for all, health care is a right. Obviously, basic litmus test for me. Education is a right. Guaranteed tuition, free world-class public education from preschool through university, and high-stakes testing in public school privatization. Abolish student debt to free a generation of Americans from debt. Servitude, that is massively important. Again, we are drowning in debt because we went to college because we were told we had to go to college to be economically viable, and now one of the reasons that we're not economically viable is because we're drowning in debt because we went to college because we were told we had to to be economically viable. You see how this goes? Um, massively important to cancel that debt and make to um, make colleges tuition free. Um, she wants to set a $15 minimum wage and create a just economy for all. 
Um, she's in favor of paid family and medical leave, free child care and pre-K for all. Um, another crucial one, we're the, we're the only first world country that does not guarantee maternity, paternity care, child care, these kinds of things. Um, housing and homelessness, she wants to enact emergency legisla legislation to relieve the obligation of rent and mortgage payments for all renters, homeowners, and owners of small multi-unit dwellings for the duration of the pandemic. So this is also crucial, you guys. One of the biggest causes of stress right now for people is the fact that they're looking at a potential eviction in the next handful of months. That would that would solve that problem. Um, racial justice, uh, freedom and equality, reproductive rights, common sense, gun control, justice for all, peace and human rights, empower the people, real democracy. Um, so this is about abolishing the corporate personhood, as she calls it. Um, you know, creating a more democratic political system that's not owned by by the oligarchs. Um, she wants to protect the Postal Service. Uh, she advocates for disability rights and the drug war, massively important. That also is part of the, the whole racial justice movement and civil rights movement. Uh, drug laws have been used to oppress minority and poor communities uh, for a very long time in this country. That's a critical one to end the, uh, end the drug war. It also, um, Portugal cut their addiction rates in half. By, um, by essentially legalizing drugs. Instead of criminalizing people for using drugs, you, you then you put resources into helping those people who are having a mental crisis, right? Drug addiction is an illness. It is not a, a crime. So um, we should treat it as such. Um, and so Lisa here, just, you know, very progressive candidate up and down the ballot. And not only is it is it a critical like any Senate seat is absolutely critical. You guys, House seats critical, Senate seats even more critical. There are only 100 of them. Anytime we can get a progressive into the Senate, it's massively important. Um, so but also the dynamic of this race with the rank choice thing. This is a humongous race to me. This is a humongous race to me. I will be covering this as, as we get closer. Um, if we have polls and information coming out of that race, I will certainly be covering it. I want to urge you all very strongly to support Lisa Savage uh, for the Senate in Maine, and I will obviously post her, her website in the description box if you can afford to donate or volunteer. Um, I just can't urge you strongly enough to do so.